Welcome everyone to our list of the eight coldest places on earth where the wind howls like wild wolves and ice and snow cover everything as far as the eye can see. From the icy lands of Siberia to the wild lands of Antarctica, we're going to explore the places with the most extreme temperatures known to humans. Today, we're gonna to take you on a trip through these amazing places so you can learn more about how incredibly strong nature is and how amazingly people can adjust to these conditions. Our journey starts in Yakutsk, a city deep in Siberia, a huge area in Russia. Yakutsk is one of the coldest cities in the world, where winter temperatures often drop below minus 40 degrees Celsius. Life here is a constant fight against the biting cold. The Lena River, one of the 10 biggest rivers in the world, stays frozen for many months, turning into an icy road. People in Yakutsk are used to wearing many layers of thick clothes when they go outside. Even cars need to have special heating systems. Even though they face many challenges, people in Yakutsk still have a lively life. Colorful wooden houses stand out against all the white snow. The frozen fish market is where people gather to buy and sell tasty fresh fish from the Lena River. And the yearly ice festival is a time for them to celebrate the beauty of the Siberian winter. Okay, let's keep going on our trip. Next up, we're heading to Norilsk, another city in Russia, located way up in the Arctic. It's on the lonely Tymir Peninsula, and Norilsk is one of the farthest away and hardest to reach cities in the whole world. It was started back in 1935 as a kind of work camp, and today, Norilsk is a big center for mining nickel. Winter in Norilsk can last for nine whole months, with temperatures that can drop way down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. That's really, really cold. During this time, the sun actually disappears from the sky, leaving the city in what feels like almost endless darkness. Icy cold winds blow through the gray concrete buildings, making it feel gloomy and very cold. But the people who live in Norilsk have learned how to live with these really tough conditions. They've built a system of underground tunnels so they can get between buildings without having to step out into that freezing cold. They even have indoor greenhouses that grow fresh fruits and vegetables for everyone all through that long, long winter. And they hold colorful festivals to bring some cheer and help push away the darkness and the cold. Leaving the cold lands of Siberia, we're traveling to Eismitte, a place deep in the center of Greenland, the biggest island in the world. Eismitte, which means middle of the ice in German, was a research station started by the explorer Alfred Wegener in 1930. Sitting on top of the Greenland ice sheet, Eismitte is one of the coldest and toughest places on Earth. The coldest temperature ever recorded here was minus 64.9 degrees Celsius. Strong winds and blizzards are common here, making Eismitte a real challenge for anyone who dares to go there. Eismitte gives scientists really important information about Earth's climate. The ice core studies here help us understand climate history better and how humans are affecting climate change. Back in Siberia, we're visiting the village of Oymyakon, known as the coldest inhabited place on Earth. Nestled in the Indijurka River Valley, Oymyakon is home to about 500 tough people. In January 1924, the temperature in Oymyakon dropped to minus 67.7 degrees Celsius, the lowest temperature ever recorded in a place where people live. Life in Oymyakon is a constant battle against the harsh cold. The ground is always frozen, which makes growing crops impossible. The people there mostly raise reindeer, horses, and dairy cows to live. To deal with the cold, the people of Oymyakon wear many layers of fur clothes, keep their homes warm with wood stoves, and get around using sleds pulled by dogs or reindeer. Let's continue our journey to Verkhoyansk, another city in Russia, located in Siberia. Located in the Arctic Circle, Verkhoyansk is known for having the biggest temperature swings in the world. Summer temperatures here can reach up to 30 degrees Celsius, while winter temperatures can drop below minus 60 degrees Celsius. In January 1885, Verkhoyansk recorded a temperature of minus 67.8 degrees Celsius, 
which was the lowest temperature ever recorded in the Northern Hemisphere at that time. This record earned Verkhoyansk the nickname, the Cold Pole of the Northern Hemisphere. Just like Oymyakon, Verkhoyansk is also home to very tough people who have learned to live with the extreme weather. They raise animals, hunt, and fish to survive. Leaving the Northern Hemisphere, we're heading to Antarctica, the coldest continent, the driest and windiest place on Earth. Our first stop here is the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station, an American research station located right at the geographic South Pole. It's named after the two explorers, Roald Amundsen and Robert Falcon Scott, who were the first to reach the South Pole in 1911. The Amundsen-Scott Station is where scientists live and work, along with support staff, all year round. The average yearly temperature at the Amundsen-Scott Station is around minus 49 degrees Celsius, and in winter, temperatures can drop below minus 80 degrees Celsius. Strong winds and blizzards are common, making it extremely dangerous to move around and work outside. All right, now let's travel to Vostok Station. It's a Russian research station way out in the middle of Antarctica. It sits right on top of the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. Vostok Station is one of the most far away and toughest places on our whole planet. On July 21, 1983, Vostok Station measured a temperature of minus 89.2 degrees C. That's the coldest temperature ever found anywhere on Earth. This record gave Vostok Station the nickname Earth's Pole of Cold. Even though the weather there is super, super tough, Vostok Station is still a really important spot for scientists to do their work. Finally, we come to the East Antarctic Plateau, known as the coldest place on our planet. Located in the center of the Antarctic continent, the East Antarctic Plateau is a vast, empty land, covered by a super-thick ice sheet, kilometers deep. The average temperature each year on the East Antarctic Plateau is about minus 57 degrees Celsius, and in the winter, it can get even colder, dropping below minus 90 degrees Celsius. The coldest temperature they've ever recorded here was minus 98.6 degrees Celsius. Strong winds and blizzards happen a lot, making the East Antarctic Plateau one of the toughest places to be on Earth. The East Antarctic Plateau is a really important place for scientists to do research. They study things like the climate, glaciers, and the history of our planet. So, our journey to explore the eight coldest places on Earth has come to an end here. From the icy cities of Siberia to the wild Antarctic continent, we've seen the amazing power of nature and the amazing way people can adapt. Goodbye and see you next time.